This video was brought to you by Elbilmerk, a Bedure planner, Stormberg, Camp Power and Bill Komponenter. Yo, what's up? We are still back here at Oslo Motor Show and today I will do a quick static review of this Hongxi EH9. So there is another one there, that's like the SUV version. This is like the sedan version from Hongxi. What the heck? Look at this. They kept the Hongxi, uh, I don't know what you call this, uh, Rudolph uh, nose, <laughs> the red Rudolph nose in there. And it even extends on the hood there. So yeah, and here you see some stats from it. So nice that we get some sedans, not only the SUV crossover. You see, it's not that expensive, around 500k nook and then 640 kilometers of range. This car has, uh, uh, what was it again? I don't remember the spec, it doesn't say here, but it has over 100 kilowatt hour battery. And look at this, 250 kilowatt charging, just like the other uh, car next to us here. And zero to 100 in 3.5 seconds. Wow, this is proper Schnell. It says very quiet and spacious cabin, panorama glass roof, and uh, yeah. So um, CDC dampers, huh? okay, nice. Okay, uh, the problem is that this is a public day. Lots of people are here, so I've, I'm not sure when I'll be able to access it. Let's at least start with the trunk. I think the trunk is available now. Let's show you in the back. Huh, okay, let me see. Normally there's a button, no, there's usually a button here. There. Okay, motorized liftgate, EH7. Wow, a fairly deep trunk. Oh, oh it has this style trunk. Yeah, the, I don't know what you call this, uh, but a sedan opening thingy. Uh, these, these beams here, they eat up some space, but it is quite deep. And here we can see the subwoofer exposed and then some cables. Uh, so you can fit maybe at least long items. If I would guess how many banana boxes, um, this this shape is tricky for the banana box test maybe six only roughly or i mean I don't know, maybe five could be on par with uh with a bmw i5 you know but can we at least open up here doesn't seem like it hmm okay and then here oh, 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 oh. guys guys yes the adapter <laughs> the gpt adapter to uh yeah, CCS, <laughs> because this is a Chinese spec car. Uh, the charge port is here. There's a button there, you see. And then you see here, this is the Type 2, that the, the inverter Type 2 they use in China. And then here is the GPT port. So eventually, of course, we'll get the CCS for Europe. I'll close the charge port there, and then close the trunk here. And then see if I can get inside the car. We have the popping out door handles. Well, this resembles Mercedes EQS, kind of. All right, let's see. Yeah, it has similar interface as the other, but except for that there's a button there for opening the, um, the door. Whoa, 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 what the heck, man? There's, people have gone bananas with the... Uh, okay, go, go. turn off HVAC. Oh, man. Can we actually get some cooling here instead? Yeah, they, they, have, they have turned down. The, uh, can you see it? Okay. There, there, there. Can, we, can we get some cooling? It's, it's quite hot around here. here. Auto. Yeah, okay, sync. All right, let's uh, check it out. So, yeah, it has the same interface as uh, the big brother over there. So we have this tiny little instrument cluster here. And then, okay, okay, there, there. All, right. all right, map. Hmm, looks similar to the other Chinese cars. What, what is this robot? I'm here. No, 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 what is that? Not quite. What happened to the robot there? Oh, okay, I thought it was Decepticon or uh, Auto. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But um, I'm not a fan of this because you see here, the infotainment screen goes further away from the driver. So if I sit where I would like to sit, right, and adjust forward so I can reach the pedals, then I have slight problems. I have to bend slightly forward to touch some of the buttons far over there, for example. So it would be better if the uh, screen was slightly closer. We have this nice uh, uh, look and feel here. Uh, electric adjustable air vents. Yeah, now, now it's cool. Okay, nice. The buttons here for the light settings, just like the other big brother. But here is the button for opening the door. That's not very ergonomic, is it? You have to, you have to do this and then this, right? 
Uh, normally, yeah, I, okay, I naturally try to do this. <clears throat> but normally, that button or whatever door button should be here where you also grab and open the door, right? We can put some bottles here. Oh, okay, this car is not equipped with the head of display, but uh, does it come with head of display? I hope so. Let me check something. If I adjust the seat all the way down now, I want to see how much headroom we have. And then here we have some center console. Oh, okay, so there's no bridge design here. Hmm, but two cup holders there. And then wh where's the wireless charging? Huh? What is this? Nothing, it's just not used space. And it's even piano black nine. Means that if the sun comes from up here and then shines here, you will have many different angles where you can reflect right in your face. And then here we have wireless charging pad, but huh, it's a big one. Can it support two phones? Wait, let me see. It's supposed to light up red here. Not sure what's up there. Come on. I, I, I'm not sure what's up there. <laughs> no, I'm a noob. No, 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 no. It, it is here. See, this is a wireless charging pad with cooling. Perfect for iPhone users. But wait, maybe I haven't enabled it. But I can see the cooling holes there. Yeah. Um, all right, let's move in. Oh, no, oh, no. We have the same haptic feedback shit here. Yeah. Just like in the other car also. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, okay, whatever. But let's see now. So here, center console. Oh, 12 volt outlet there. Uh, uh, kind of shallow here because some of the space here is probably used for the air vents to the back. And then the seats. Oh, interesting. They seem to have the same seat as the big brother there, which is that they just have these not so sporty seats, uh, not with not too much side support. But this is a sedan. I would expect it to have slightly sportier seat. So, but I mean, they are comfortable. They are ventilated, so it feels good at least when you sit here. But uh, maybe not the best car for going on a track, right? But uh, who's going to drive this on a track? But it does see to hundred. See to hundred in three point five seconds. You would expect that, right? <laughs> or probably not. Okay. And then, okay. Let me check now. What about headroom? Plenty of headroom. Yeah, that's good. And in the back. Hmm. Oh, oh, I like this. Isofix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Daddy Bjorn approves. Uh, however, the wait, the lid feels a bit cheap. Wait, huh? why doesn't it close properly? Okay, well, it's supposed. To... Huh? That's weird. Because that side seems to be flush. But this side. There. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I just pu didn't push it hard enough. Okay, there. I like it. I like it that it is like that. But usually with a sedan, you will have not so good headroom or whatever. We have to check it now. If I sit here, well, I have plenty of leg room, except for that. Um, I can't put my feet under the front seat that much, a little bit only. And then, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look here. I'm not that tall. I'm 173 centimeters and my feet are going up like this. So uh, somewhat low seating height. We have one USB A, one USB C there. That's it, and then nothing in the middle here. Uh, door pocket. I mean the, the, the pocket there. Um, door pocket here. Uh, I have the same thing here. You have to press up there to. Uh, that, that, that is not good design. The button should be here, here or something, right? Not there. <laughs> All right, and then center console with a table here just like the SUV version with the crossover and then we have two cup holders that pops out there nice and also good length I like it that you can actually use the the, the armrest here and still have cups there and then let's check that what about headroom in the back oh you see that's the, that's the disadvantage with Saddam you um, you have somewhat limited headroom it's not even a fist it's more like three fingers ish and the middle seat is even worse, you sit more elevated, then you have roughly two fingers of clearance here. But that's gonna be it, a quick review. What do I think about this? Is this gonna be the Model 3 killer, Model S killer? Well, we'll find out. Eventually I had to put child seat in there, baby stroller, do banana box test, 1000 kilometer challenge, noise test. I'll find out everything about this and the other car over there. So that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.